All right, here we go. Mark Savage here. The three times three challenge. Welcome to my channel. I got this challenge from Remy on Wheels. She is a American vlogger on mopeds. She's actually a really good girl. I do love her. She does this little vlog on a little moped and she's really good. And I have to say, her editing skills are amazing. I aspire to be as good as her for editing and content. And there you go. So what is the three times three challenge? It is for me to tell you three things about myself that you didn't know. So I can't say I've got loads of tattoos and I'll fix bikes and bloody bloody because you know all that stuff. So something you don't know about me. Well, since I was 12 years old, I've been stuck behind this bus. No, since I was 12 years old, I've been stuck behind the bus. I have roller skated. Yes, me roller skating. So, something you didn't know about me. I skate. Yes, I do. I've been skating um, since I was 17 years old. And uh, not that bad, it, really. I like to think not anyway. That's enough of that, I think. And there you go, I roll escape. <clears throat> the second thing you did not know about me. God, what is it today? The second thing you didn't know about me is I swim a lot. I'm actually quite a good swimmer. I don't mean professional or anything, but I mean, I do enjoy swimming. I go five days a week. I've been going now for about 10 years. I did stop and start and I always regret stopping. Swimming is amazing. As you've seen in a couple of my videos, my knees were bad. I've lost both cartilages now. Swimming is such a non-invasive impact. Keeps you fit, keeps your weight down. I do enjoy it. I generally swim about a mile a day. So next week I'm on late, so I'll swim every single morning. And I'll clock up a good couple of miles there. Five, six miles, I can do easy. About seven years ago when I was going, I was doing two miles a day and I was just getting out of the pool. I got bored. I, I wish I'd have kept it up. But I was doing 120 lengths a day, which was about two miles in the pool. And I was doing 10, 12 miles a week. But I stopped and then injuries and so on. Boring, I know. But I swim. The last thing, this was difficult when you actually start thinking what do people know about me. I don't want to bore you to death, you know. Here's the last thing you didn't know about me. When I was a little boy, I guess I'm actually lucky to be here. Um, my mum took me down in the 70s for the meningitis injection. And I was ill anyway. And unfortunately, it gave me meningitis and I had inward mumps and I very, very much nearly died. And I'm going back to the 70s where they used to just put you in baths of ice. And meningitis, viral meningitis, cooks your brain. And it cooked my little noggin. And that's why it doesn't work properly now. Um, but I was very, very lucky um, to be here. I've nearly died a few times in other little bits and hopefully I won't get splatted on a motorbike. But there you go. Three things. A roller skate, I love swimming. And I nearly died from viral meningitis and inward mumps. And that's as boring as it gets. Now, the reason why it's called three times three is because I've actually got to challenge three other YouTubers. And it was hard, you know, to guess, pick people, because I've got 6,000 odd subscribers to date. So I have to go for my mate, Dove Man. Or like I say, Dove Man. Um, he's quite a clever fellow, actually recently contacted me about his new lights he's put on his bike and he knows I love drilling parts on bikes so so there I go Dove man 
you are the man to do the challenge I do love bus lanes well the ones you can put bikes on because in Colchester they've got all of them well you can't ride in them because they want to find people they love finding people find the old motorist it's lots of fun and fine anyway my next person is another great guy GT Garage he's got a big beard and he loves motorbikes as well he does a lot of servicing on motorbikes and European XJ900 and stuff like that he's got a lot of followers and he gave me some really good advice when I was first starting out so it's good to have him there now the last one our toss up between a couple of three people so I'm not going to name it now because I'm going to have a look quick nod hello mate that was, a, was that an ER6? Oh, was that a Z1000? I'm going to go for ER6. I'm going to have to review, C review CCTV, idiot. I'm going to have to review the camera. The ER6 has exactly the same engine as this little bike. And I'm riding a Kawasaki versus 650. I have to say, very windy. And I would have spoken about this bloody screen I got. They're little frugal bikes, very light. Over you come, mate, that's alright. I could have took him, but hey. The little Kawasaki 650, ah, it's. Ah, alright, I'm not in love with it. You know, bikes I normally ride, big, firm, heavy bikes. The pros, it is an amazingly light little bike. It does very good miles to the gallon, it really does. Um, they're responsive, you know, I think you can get under 20 out of these, you're never going to do that in this little thing. You really wind her up if you want to go anywhere, and it does go. And I guess, you know, it's not a sports bike, it does keep your speed legal. But you have got it there if you wish to overtake, which I've just done there. But, have I been spoilt, I guess, you know, um... I had a while ago when I was thinking about getting a GS800. We all know what happened to my GS1200. Let's not remind myself of me falling off of the damn thing. So I did look at the GS800, and they're very tall bikes, and I do mean tall. Uh, I'm a good friend of mine. You. Oh, dog crossing the road. He uh, he bought the Adventure one of them, and I have to say, I did like it. Even though it's tall, I did like it. But the engine, the little 800 twin engine, it just doesn't do it for me. It's a bit like this, I know it'll be wanting. You know, this is actually faster than the GS, <coughs> but it'll be wanting. So I ended up before, I ended up with a, how many end ups can there be? I got a Triumph 800, the Tiger, a triple engine 800, and that's got so much more poke, and it pulls back nicely, and I did like it. And I keep wondering why I sold the damn thing, to be honest with you. It was a nice bike all round. I could say that why I sold half my bikes. And I've got a load of bikes sitting in a lockup, you know. I've just bought a couple of... Where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. Oh, let's do it anyway. He wanted both lanes. Well, he didn't see him in the rearview mirror was he was going straight. He didn't need to be in the right hand lane, but there you go. Uh, so I've just got hold of a couple of K8 GSXRs. Nice, yummy ones. Both need servicing, MOTing. One needs a head stop doing. And I've not done one of them yet, but the engines are good. Uh, 15,000 on one and 30 on the other. So there's my winter projects and next bike's up and coming. Come on, mate. I hate this. Come on. You can do it. Well done. Now, he came hossing up behind me. And now he's doing 57 miles an hour. Not too annoyed at all. I didn't want to pop out in front of him while I was on, you know, camera. I suppose I should have, shouldn't I? Right, I've actually had enough now. Anyway, 
penis gone. Not exactly the right move to do. Here we are in October. Mid October and it's a lovely day still. I could very much fancy getting on my ZX6 arm going for a nice little rideies. But uh, I've got things to play with. And I've got to finish this challenge. And while I've been talking, I thought the last person I should invite. And that is Sammy Badger. Close friend of mine. He loves bikes. He's actually got one of these. And a nice ZX-10R. And that is nice. It's nice to Sammy. I've watched him grow. Uh, he was my neighbour for a long while. He started off a little bike and then got himself an SV when I knew him. And a nice Z1000 he had. Had an accident on that. That was, that was close, that was. But now he's got a nice couple of bikes and he deserves a challenge. So there you go, I found my free while I'm riding back. Derv man, GT Garage, Sammy Badger. I'll add you all in the video. And once again, Remy on wheels, love you darling. Thank you for putting me up for the challenge. And even, I'll let you go <laughs> for your very, very good English impersonation. Oh, it sounded Australian, you know that girl, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that was, was why is she doing an Australian accent? Oh, I don't know. But there you go. I love these buses. And look, the van has decided to overtake the bus anyway. I mean, there's no one getting off that bus. They do that a lot. There's up further along here, there's an actual lay-by they can park in. But they decide to stop everybody until you can get by and they pull away. I swear it's the same git every single time. Anyway, I digress. As I always do when I'm chatting. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, please. And I'll be a happy bunny. I'll keep making them. Next up and come videos, you know what they are. Take care of yourselves on the road. Especially now in the UK.